Hi guys, welcome to The Howler, and today's video is how to use Photoshop to edit the effect of a lightsaber. Okay guys, this is uh, a pretty cool one. So, here I've got an image of uh, a Lego Kylo Ren from the new Star Wars films. And he's holding his lightsaber up in sort of an action as if he was kind of blocking something. Now the the lightsaber is made of a, a red plastic, um, and it, it it's quite difficult to get kind of a cool effect without using a flash. And then if you use a flash, you kind of lose the the darks that that are kind of synonymous with um, the the Sith and, and the evil characters from Star Wars. So you, it's quite difficult with this effect that I'm now going to show you which is pretty simple um, you can get an effect of a Star Wars lightsaber very similar to what they look like in the films okay so with the really bright light in the middle and then the color sort of uh, emanating from that lightsaber you can do it for any color um, some are easier than others um, but let's get straight into it, okay? I'm going to show you how what you need to do first, okay, and how to get that effect. Um, so the first thing that you want to do, step number one, make sure that you go down to the color settings and you want to switch your foreground and your background color. All right, so you want the background color to be black and the foreground color to be white. It's really important that you do that. If not, it's not going to work. Next, what you need to do is create a new layer, okay? Just a brand new layer. Um, you want your original image on the bottom. Then, while you've got your new layer selected, you want to go to the Line tool, okay, and you want to set the width to the same width as the prop that you're trying to turn into a lightsaber, okay? So, for this example, it's about a centimetre wide. And then, draw the line across the prop. All right, so, you want to cover that prop with a white line, same thickness, same length, everything, okay? Then, what you do is you go to that layer with the shape on that you've just drawn and you duplicate it or you copy it three times. So you should end up with four uh, layers with a shape on it and then your original image at the bottom. What you're then going to do is you're going to go to your filter settings and you're going to go to blur and you're going to go to Gaussian blur. Okay. You want to set the radius to the same number of pixels as is the width of your line. Okay, so you go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then set the radius to the same. So this example, the width of the line was one centimetre. So the amount of pixels I'm going to um, do my radius of blur for is one pixel. Okay, because it's one centimetre. If it was two centimetres, it would be two pixels, for example. And you want to do that for all three copies, but don't do it on the original shape that you drew. Okay, so use Gaussian blur on three copies, but not on the original shape. All right. Uh, the the next step that you're going to do is you're going to go to one of your copies and you're going to go to layer, layer style, style settings, and you need to choose glow, and you want to go for an inner glow and an outer glow. Select the color tab and set the color to the same color that you want the lightsaber to be. Okay, so for this example, it's red. Um, you want the opacity to be full. Okay, because obviously the stronger the colors, the better the effect in this particular example. Not always, but in this particular example. Um, and then you can play about with the size to get a desired effect. Okay, once you've done one of the layers with the blur applied to it, you can go to your original shape and then do it on the original shape. So you can go to um, go to your filter set or to your layer settings rather to your style settings, glow inner glow and outer glow and set them to the same color as the lightsaber so we're setting it to red again put the opacity all the way up and again you can play with the size if you've got preview mode turned on um, you can see what effect it's having um, as you actually adjust those settings the image will change okay once you've done one of your um, one of your blurred copies and then your original shape layer you can then go and do the other two copies okay but it's important that you do it in that order first do one which has got the blur applied to it then do your original one 
and then do the two others with the blur applied to it. Again, inner glow, outer glow, change the color. It's exactly the same for each layer, all right? You can do this with any colors, any of the lightsaber colors from the films. The easiest seems to be red. Uh, the next easiest is um, purple. Then I'd say green. Uh, blue is really quite tricky to, to get the same kind of shade of blue as what they have in the films. It's quite difficult. Um, I don't know, is there anyone with a yellow lightsaber? I'm not sure. Okay, well, I, d I don't know. If there is, let me know. Um, but yellow is quite easy to do as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there is a guy with a yellow lightsaber. I'd be interested to find out. So there you have it, guys. That's how to edit a lightsaber from the Star Wars films in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because we're going to have some new cool content coming up soon. The next video I'm going to do that will be coming out really soon is another Star Wars themed editing video. How to edit uh, Force Lightning in Photoshop. Okay, so that will be quite a cool one. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, guys, and see you again soon.